Alright guys, I have to show you the Harris Laughlin Buffet during the week, not weekend, this is dinner time Sunday evening and as you know Sunday evening is already part of midweek buffet prices so it's more affordable, it's $16, we got it comped but $16 for Sunday dinner and I have to show you because it's incredibly different from yesterday's. Yesterday's was Saturday dinner and it was only, well, it was $10, $9 more. But for $9 more, you had a lot more food and a lot better food. What I found is that not only the variety has collapsed, but the quality of the ingredients has collapsed. Now you've got a pepper steak soup, pepper steak soup, Asian soup, which is just um, egg drop with peas, very odd. It was not very flavorful actually. Chili, seven sea soup. It's like a mussel soup. I, it just as if it's a different type of food altogether. And so from, it went from being probably the best buffet in Lovely to just another not so good buffet in Lovely. Sorry guys. Taco meat. I mean, some dishes still have this lovely flavor, but I mean, you know, some dishes got good flavor and I'll tell you which ones, but otherwise it's just, you know, not done with love. And I don't know why, because they do have people and they're still gamblers. I don't like, there is a difference in Vegas between weekend and midweek, but here it's incredible. Look at this, even just the fries. These fries come from reconstituted potatoes. Yesterday they had potato fries from real potatoes. Completely different taste, completely different texture. I had lots of them. He, this ones I couldn't, I had some, but I just couldn't stomach them. And the, chi and the fish, it's tasty, but you have to really remove a lot of batter to actually see any fish. Lower quality. It's as if they come, they, they, they took them from a different manufacturer. I don't understand. Nonetheless, collapsed quality and collapsed variety. Pepper steak, vegetable du jour, mac and cheese, full pork, same as yesterday. That was the same. Ranch fried chicken, same as yesterday. Mashed potatoes, again nowhere near as good as yesterday it's as if either the chef isn't here or they just have different ingredients for the midweek for a cheaper buffet vegetable du jour you know it looks like it's coming from a tin and um and, and carving station Corn bread stuffing, Brussels sprouts, beef and potatoes, focaccia bread. I should have some of that. I always forget something, you know. French onion soup, and there were a few sauces here. And there were uh, yesterday, I believe. Double check. There were some burgers that were served, but double check my other video because my memory right now with all this food is a little bit wanting. Asian noodle salad, same as yesterday at, for Saturday dinner. Cucumber salad, soy sauce, cocktail sauce, shrimp, same as yesterday. Of course, yesterday they had crabs, right? They had also crabs because it's Saturday. Oh, no, 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 forgive me. No, 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 no. Friday night they had crabs and Saturday night they had steak. And you can see it on my other videos. Lemon wedges, vegetable spring roll, really nothing special to say the least, pork pot stickers, chicken lo mein, I mean yesterday they had these gorgeous flat noodles, they were delicious, I don't like this one, beef and broccoli, fried rice, hot and sour soup, and you, did you see it, jasmine rice and uh, fortune cookies. Ah, we have salmon de jour, which 
has been sitting there a bit. Doesn't look as this served with love as yesterday. I actually look around, and although I saw some really nice stuff here earlier on, I think they were on the cusp between Sunday brunch, which is more expensive, and Sunday dinner, which is not as expensive. And I saw the stuff that were working for Sunday brunch. They're not here anymore. They're not here. I think they change. And I, th I don't know, I mean, change of stuff, change of quality, change of ingredients, change of process, change of quality control. It just collapsed. Ooh, somebody broke a whole set of dishes. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't show you, just heard it. So you have been warned, okay? Don't expect anything if you come for midweek um, meals, like, for example, in this case, Sunday dinner. It's just not served with love, it's just, chicken, meatballs, pasta with marinara and alfredo sauce, um, cheese, and ravioli du jour, again, obviously the same ravioli prepared as yesterday, they were really delicious, but, but these ones, just not, no, they're fine, they're fine, they're actually among the best things you can eat here on Sunday dinner. Pasta bolognese, maybe not as perfectly maintained as yesterday. And the assorted, assorted calzones, which were delicious yesterday, and they're delicious today. The, the gentleman that was working here earlier made these to me. He was a delightful man. He is. Delightful man. Uh, but again, I don't think, you know, he takes care of the station better than uh, it's happening now. And then you've got your bread sticks. Maybe I'll have one on my way out. Um, so the calzone is just, um, you have um, salami, sausage, cheese, onions and peppers and olives, and, uh, and then you, you fold it and then you cook it in the wood fired oven, which is nice that they have. So that makes the, um, the outside of the calzone perfectly cooked, if you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> Pizza, you know, run of the mill. And fruit run of the mill. The, uh, the uh, pineapple were actually nice and juicy. I wasn't too keen on the melon, it was pretty tasteless. And now I'm going to show you this area. Uh, it's actually quite a lot, they have a lot of seating uh, seats and tables. Um, we're on the other end, the Diamond Lounge. Not that I'm Diamond, I'm not, but they're very nice, they've been very nice to me. And they don't know who I am, so it's nothing to do with anything. <laughs> I just inspire niceness. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, so, um, so you know, this is it. It's still bigger than most Laughlin buffets. Most Laughlin buffets are pretty pitiful, unless it's like a special weekend dinner, you know, and they'll have oysters and so forth. And if you come from Vegas, you'll be disappointed by any of these buffets, no, no matter where you go, you know? It's not Vegas, end of story. But I was shocked at, by the difference between Saturday dinner and Sunday dinner. I'll show you the salad section. Not pre-tossed, you just have to do it yourself and you don't have much to work with. <clears throat> I was desperate yesterday and I just ended up having this, I'll show you. Okay, you've got potato salad, pasta salad, and coleslaw. I actually ended up having coleslaw. It was delicious. And I think it's the same from yesterday. <laughs> so I liked it. Chocolate pudding. And then you've got this canned vegetables, you know, pear, applesauce, and peaches. Nothing special. Um, and you've got a well, small, you know, run-of-the-mill dessert section. I tell you. This is one of the bigger buffets in, Bay, in, in Laughlin. One of the bigger buffets in Laughlin. This is Harris Laughlin. What a disappointment between Saturday dinner and Friday dinner, presumably. I saw it, but uh, they were just, they had oysters and crabs. The rest was pretty much the same. Saturday dinner was good, but what a change on Sunday dinner. This is it. Oh yeah, I wanna show this section here. Oh, look at that chocolate there, eh? Banana Foster, apple strudel, and cherry sauce. And cones, of course. Ice cream toppings. 
and Breeze Jewel Vanilla and Chocolate Soft Serve Ice Cream. This is it, folks. <laughs> well, we were come to, um, here, which was nice, but I mean, I don't see the chefs I saw yesterday, I don't see the personnel I saw yesterday or even earlier on today. I just don't know. I mean, I clearly there's some sort of directive that tells them that Sunday dinner or probably Monday dinner, Tuesday dinner, it's not not to bother too much, I think, because the, the quality and the process and the ingredients that just it's like a totally different buffet, but you still have decent variety and you can find something that tastes good because maybe they just couldn't quite make it that much worse, although they really have succeeded no, noticeably. Uh, sadly <laughs> okay guys so I just wanted you to know and I will talk about the other buffets in Laughlin because I have visited the mall on top buffetcom we have a section on Laughlin and I talk about those um, because you probably want to try others as well but you know the choice is slim pickings that's what they say the choice is limited but obviously you need to know what your choices are as I say check us out on top buffetcom we have a lawfully section you start from there and then within the pages we we link them to other pages where you find information about anything that you may possibly need here in lawfully and if you don't find it ask us through our comments section on that website see you on top buffetcom bye bye guys